No doubt you've already seen or heard a little bit about aquaponics already, and it's no wonder. There are so many people doing it. It's a great way to grow vegetables, it's water-wise, and it can combine your love of fish and plants in a small, compact space. The fundamentals of aquaponics really are all the same, and I'm going to show you the basics of how you can configure yours. With all the different sizes that are available in aquaponics systems, there's sure to be one to suit you and your space. But basically, they are all the same. You need a pond that holds water and the fish. You'll need a grow bed. This will have the growing medium and this is where you'll grow your vegetables. They will all need a drain so the water can flow back into the pond. You'll need a pump to deliver the water to the grow bed. And of course, fish to provide the waste to feed the vegetables. So once you've cut the hole, you then install the drain, making sure that it's nice and tight so we don't get any drip leaks a little guard to stop the clay and roots getting into the drain, and then an outer cover. Make sure it's one that's large enough that you can put your whole hand in there so you can get it in and actually clear the drain. So now it's time to install the pump, but do get some professional advice because obviously, whatever aquaponic system size you choose, the pump is gonna have to match that. I like them with a fountain head. That way you get lots of splashing water in the pond. And this one has a tea piece ready for us to attach our pipe that's gonna send the water to the grow bed. And then really it's just a case of putting it in the pond and turning it on. So then we need to secure our delivery pipe to make sure it's secure and it doesn't fall off. And this is a great opportunity to turn it all on and make sure that the drain is correct and the tap is right before we put in the expanded clay. Expanded clay is widely regarded as the best growing medium in an aquaponic system. It's lightweight and friable, it won't compact, your vegetable roots can penetrate through the grow bed, and it's pitted so you get lots of surface area for beneficial bacteria to form. And now you're ready to plant. Whatever herbs or vegetables you choose for your grow bed, make sure you wash off all the soil before you plant. And then check your local planting guides. Make sure you're planting the right plant for the right season. And then the exciting part, it's time for the fish. But I would wait at least a week before you put anything in and build up your stock slowly. In Perth, you can grow barramundi in the summer months, trout in the winter months, or silver perch all year round. And they are all great eating fish. The amount of fish you can grow in your aquaponics is going to be dependent again on the size. So get some advice if you're not sure, because aquaponics really is a great water-wise way to grow healthy fish and vegetables at home.